Hello everyone. Today I'm just gonna go through all the auto white balance of the, all these four cameras. Just want to make a quick video on this auto white balance. As many of you have seen in the previous video, the Sony um, was very warm, and I was wondering, I just curious, how are they gonna do in? I just did a test shot, and then to see what are the main differences uh, between these cameras. So what I have is the EOS R. I have the 3518. I I don't have any 50 equivalent. I'm trying to make it into the same frame. And the XT3 in this one. So EOS R, XT3, the Panasonic S1, and the A7 III. So out of these four um, pictures, I can see the A7 III right now is in in my camera. It's the white priority mode and I have a couple more shots in the background um, that has other auto white balance the color seems to be um, more orange uh, to me and uh, maybe because of the algorithm the sensor how how Sony render the color but um, anyway these are out of the camera JPEG and um, just want to show you the differences so the Canon um, kind of like in between the yellow and the orange and these two are very similar uh, to me the X-T3 and the Panasonic S1 these two are very uh, similar and from the previous video you can see that uh, the S1 has more green tone closer to the green tone and then the X-T3 is uh, more toward the magenta tone and Sony to me is um, more like it the, the color is stronger out of all these and by the way I have the standard profile style with the contrast plus one that's why you can see the contrast is a little bit bigger I mean a little bit stronger than the other three cameras but uh, other than that the the color is different uh, definitely different from the Sony okay so I'm gonna pull aside Okay, let me minimize all these other ones and then just pull aside other shots I have. So this is the, this one is the white priority, AMB, ambient, ambient, this second one is the ambient. So you can, you can see and tell me which one do you like most. And this one is standard. I can see the green tone a little bit from the white, uh, but it's very minimal. Even I set the uh, auto ba white balance with the white priority. I'm shooting indoor, like in the in the shade, like in indoor in my living room, and so the light is not uh, very strong. And yeah, you can see it's not that much uh, difference. But the Sony tend to be more stronger, leaning toward a uh, warmer color than the other cameras. So, but anyway, um, this you can adjust in the post. I just want to share with you these three different mode of um, also, like just to give you a sense of what's going on behind the scene, um, like why. Sony is more toward the warm side because um, comparing to other four manufacturers the Sony is stronger on the warm tone so to me so but um, this has an advantage uh, if you want more warm tone in the consistency of your feed if you want uh, more but um, you can you can achieve the similar look uh, from all the other uh, cameras as well. Just want to do a quick video on this and um, share with you uh, what's the difference in between the, uh, in among these four cameras. Thank you so much for watching and support. Uh, thanks, uh, more video coming up. Thanks. Bye.